Hi everyone! Today I just want to share with you these homemade family Christmas stockings that I made. I'm going to focus on how I made the simplest one with all red here. The supplies that we need to make the canvas stocking are cotton canvas, scissors, straight pins, sewing machine and thread, and an iron. I traced a stocking I already had to create a template on a paper bag, and I cut it out and traced it onto the cotton. I doubled up the canvas so that when I cut it out I was making two pieces that could then simply be pinned together and simply sewn with a sewing machine using a basic stitch. And I simply ironed it nice and flat, and I also ironed the top folded in nice and flat. So that's how I made the basic stocking part. Now I'm going to show you how I added the crochet decorative part at the top. The supplies needed are scissors, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, cotton yarn in red, and an awl. The awl is used to punch holes about every quarter inch around the top. I did this as I went. I didn't punch all the holes ahead of time. I did one hole at a time and then I would do my stitch. It was simply a single crochet stitch in each, each hole all the way around the top and then I did a slip stitch to connect at the end. This is literally the hardest part of the entire stocking, was punching the hole and doing the stitch in this small hole that you created. But once you've completed that, you can just do a single crochet stitch all the way around until it reaches about five inches wide and then add a nice decorative border to make it look nice. And last but not least I simply chain stitched about 12 chains to create a little hook to hang each stocking from. Alright, now let's put names on the stockings. You're going to need regular transfer paper, scissors, a computer with colored ink printer, and an iron. So I have templates on my website, I'll make those links available in the description below, or you can make your own letters, and you simply print them backwards onto the transfer paper. I'm not going to show you here on the video how to print backwards, but it is a setting usually under the printer settings. It's uh, called mirror image, or I'll put a link in the description below where I, I explained it on my blog, but you can always Google your printer and how to do it. Once you've printed it out, cut it out nice and neat, very close to the edges, lay it on the canvas, and iron it on according to the transfer paper directions. And you can see that the one stocking there for Andrew is done. And there's Richie's and mine. And it comes out looking really kind of nice. If it doesn't iron perfectly the first time, don't pull it off. Just iron it a little bit longer until it peels off nice and easy. All links are below. Uh, experiment with different colors and, and different stitches to make everybody's a little different. I used all Christmassy colors, uh, but I think they look really awesome hanging on the fireplace and it just makes me so happy to be able to hang them up every year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more interesting videos in the future.